Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to say thank you so much because of your great support. I'm so much humbled the way you continue to do a great job. Mutai Nguni has releases and bombshell when it comes to the deputy president and his politics across the Republic of Kenya. And I was going across the Mutai Nguni's Twitter handle and I found a statement and a message that my viewers and also Kenyans at large I was like you can also listen to the message of Mutai Nguni when it comes to the politics of William Samuel Ruto. The truth to be said according to the way he has written his statement is bringing a lot of panic and also a lot of dilemma and I think this explains the dilemma of choosing a running mate in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. So without wasting time I want us to start uh, to, uh, to uh, overview this uh, tweet then we analyze where possible so if of course you are a visitor ensure that to subscribe you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos you get notified automatically by YouTube for those who are returning subscribers I want to say thank you so much because of your great support let us go back to the main issue Mutai Nguni's tweet is bringing a lot of dilemma and also confusion when it comes to the politics of William Samuruto in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And I want us to go through this uh, tweet, then we continue. The tweet says, Kalenjinization of Kikuyus is meant to cement the majority, or the, the majority project. Number two, Mtaenguni is saying, instead of calling Kikuyus Kikuyus, they have rebranded them hustlers. But the core hustler nation is still a challenging Kikuyu project. He continues and says that no laws, no cambas, no lawyers. And he further continues and say that this explains the dilemma of choosing the DP in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Kenyans, in the midst of the politics of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, it is not easy for them, according to the tweet of Mutai Nguni. And of course, when it comes to those who are having a lot of dilemma, when it comes to selecting whoever is going to deputize Raila, not to Raila Murudinga, William Samuruto, is, is bringing a lot of confusion because according to the politics, the way politics is taking center at the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, and a few months to election, Mutai Nguni is accusing William Samuruto to continue having this, this ideal of Kalenjainization of Kikuyus, which is meant to cement the relationship between these two tribes so that they can continue to enjoy their legacy when it comes to their majority uh, project. And when it comes to the majoritarian in this Republic of Kenya, it has been believed that uh, Kikuyus are the majority when it comes to voters across the Republic of Kenya. When they unite themselves with the Kalenjin, Taenguni is calling them Kalenjinization of Kikuyus, which is meant not to allow other tribes to control the Republic of Kenya's politics. Instead, they are looking forward to still continue to control their politics across the Republic of Kenya. Though they have led in several and many years since the independence of the Republic of Kenya. Again, Mutai Nguni is coming saying 
that instead of calling Kikuyus, instead of William Samaruto calling Kikuyus, Kikuyus, he has rebranded them as hustler, hustlers, so that that ideal of challenging Kikuyu politics is not felt. But the truth to be said, even if you see the politics of Kenya Kwanza Harans, the dominance there is challenging Kikuyu. Where is Luo? Where is Kamba? Where is Lawyers? This is the indication that shows the true politics of Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Which, according to me, at times I agree with the statement of Mutai Nguyi, saying that instead of calling Kikuyu's Kikuyu's, they have been rebranded the Tasla, so that that name of Kalenjin Kikuyu to be as if been hidden, with an aim to continue with the leadership across the Republic of Kenya since independence, Though we have been having three presidents as Kikuyus, then one president as the Kalenjin. So I think that this is bringing a lot of issue and also a lot of worries when it comes to the politics of William Samaruto in Kenya Kwanza Lands. But the core Hustler Nation is still Kalenjin Kikuyu project and you can felt it even in Kenya Kwanza Lands. Even all the other side in Azimio, I think according to me politically speaking and my opinion, I don't want to be biased. But actually when you go to Azimio, this Azimio alliance is consisting with a lot of tribes. This is, there is Luos, there is Kambas, there is Ruyas, there are almost all tribes across the board when it comes to the unity of Azimio Lomoja. So according to me, I think they are right when, when it comes to the, 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 the proposal and also the unity that Azimio is having. But when it comes to uh, Kenya Kwanza, the most dominance there you can tell and you can felt them. And our, of course, again, there's no laws when it comes to the deputy president in Kenya Kwanza and there's no deputy president. No cambers in the running weight and no cambers in the presidential candidate in Kenya Kwanza Alliance. No lawyers in the president and no lawyers in the running mate. It is really showing the true picture of Kenya Kwanza Alliance and their leadership. So this explains also the dilemma of choosing the running mate in Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Because if William Samuruto is a Kalenjin, has already been given that mantle to be the deputy, the, the president flag, um, the candidate of uh, presidency in uh, uh, Kenya Kwanza Alliance. It means that when they are going to also uh, select Akikui to be the running mate, the say the say is going to be continue to say that it is now the politics of Kikuyu and Kalenjin because William Samuruto and Akikui. And at times I see like that is why they are pushing so that uh, so that uh, the so that Kalonzo Msoka to be the running mate for Raila Morodiga so that they can have that a chance to elect anyone who is not a Kikuyu and that is the politics that is being played here but according to me this situation of Kalenjinization of Kikuyus that was meant to cement the majority project when it comes to the majoritarian politics and votes in across the Republic of Kenya, is bringing a lot of issue, and that is why Kenya Kwanza Alliance are feeling like they are in dilemma of choosing the deputy. So, what are you thinking, Kenyans? You can drop your thoughts, opinion, and reason at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much because of your great support. For those who are visitor, ensure that you subscribe. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to thank you so much. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.